I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. Tim Jackson is a running back and a leading rusher for the Elkins Knights. He is a unique player. Tim can catch the ball out of the backfield. Then he has the moves to make a defender miss or the power to run over a would-be tackler. Some of that ability is from his years of playing basketball. Probably my leaping ability, my jumping ability. Um, my speed as well, my footwork, honestly, the footwork probably has to be the number one thing I got out of basketball. Jackson started playing football in the first grade. He remembers being excited and always ready to go to practice. I was waiting by the car. I was I already had my shoulder pads on before practice in the, in the minivan waiting on mom to get the keys out the car, I mean, at the uh, kitchen. But later on, he decided to focus on basketball and he stuck with it on into high school. He started off at Elkins as a freshman playing basketball with no plans to play football. Honestly, I didn't. I was a, a basketball player to start off my freshman year. And Coach Brantley see me in the basketball, and he was just like, man, that's a big guy. He shouldn't be playing basketball, you know? So he came and got me out of basketball class, talked to me a few times, come and trying out for the team. And from there, I came out, showed my speed, showed my my nastiness on the field. I actually started off on defense before I played running back. And yeah, from there, just football has been like the motive, like everything. Although Jackson worked hard to excel at his position, he wasn't getting the attention that some of the other running backs in the district were getting. But that didn't bother him. I actually like being under the radar because, you know, who is that guy? That's what, that's what I like. I like to hear that. Who, yeah, who is that guy? Who is that young man right there? This season has proved to be an awesome one for Elkins, who are the District 23-5A champions. And Tim Jackson has played a big part in that success. So he is no longer under the radar, and that means he's a target as far as the other teams are concerned. Yeah, I can feel it on the field, especially when like guys tackle me. You know, it's a it's a it's a big difference. It's a big different hit. You know, you know, you know when you get that real real big emotional hit. Like, yeah, I hope he's out for the rest of the game. Hit. You know. Jackson says he had a feeling this season the Knights would improve over last year's team when they went three and four in district and didn't make the playoffs. This year, their district record is six and one. I think it was more discipline, guys working out, actually being more, more physical on, and in practice, more, not more so, what do you call it, um, more togetherness as a team, you know, and then we kind of put it all together. The Knights have been enjoying their victories, especially the one over rival Hightower, although Jackson admits that win was bittersweet. Things. Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest games. I think it was actually bigger than Bush, honestly, because I went to school with a lot of those guys. And, you know, just those were my brothers before, you know, Elkins, you know. And then I came here, made a family, you know, going against another family. And this, it, 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 it was beautiful. I liked the game. It was more intense. And then Bush High School was another big game for the Knights. That was the game that would determine the district championship. Both teams went into the game undefeated. Honestly, I wasn't even nervous. I kind of already knew from watching the film, like the defense was not ready for what our offense had to offer. But just watching the film before, I actually watched the film all night, didn't get any sleep. Watched the film all night and during school, like when I didn't have work to do, I watched the film. Like just, just telling myself, yeah, this defense cannot, cannot stop us, not tonight. The Knights are now in the playoffs, so the season is still underway. But this is also a time when many high school athletes turn their attention to the next level. Uh, yeah, I, I get a lot of letters from uh, a lot of D1 colleges, actually, since my sophomore year. I'm just, I'm into the season, man. It's really this team, man. This team that keeps me on the edge. You know, we, we talk about a lot. We do a lot with each other, you know. We don't really have no time to sit around and really think about where I'm going to go to college because I'm so far on this team right here. This is my family right now. But he is deeply committed to his biological family as well. One of his siblings faces some challenges. My little sister and my oldest brother. But my oldest brother is um, he's disabled. He can't really walk, you know, use his hands. So I would, I, I, I do a lot for both of those people. Jackson pitches in to help with the cooking and other household tasks, and he's learned a lot from it. 
I think it builds, it builds, it builds a young man into being a better adult because he actually sees what you know his parents have to go through before it's time for him to go through it. You know, so I mean, as far as you know, doing because I actually work and I help my mom as well. Um, as far as like helping around the house is. It gets hard because I have football and I have school. You know, it's a managed thing. I have to manage all those. So will he be staying in the area for college to continue helping out at home? I know my mom, she can take care of everything. She, me and her have been talking about that, you know, as far as going off. She says she doesn't want me to hold back for anything. And, you know, and I'm going to try to try to do my best not to go as far. But, you know, I will be taking the best scholarship that I can. You know. Wherever he ends up, Jackson will hold fond memories of this amazing season and the bonds he's forged with his Knights teammates, especially the quarterback, Jonathan Giles. I see him how the way he come to practice every day with a smile on his face, you know, getting better, working hard. It just motivates me. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.